Hey what up, welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to teach you how to upload an image to the storage using Superbase. Now firstly in your Superbase project, let's go to this sidebar here and go to the storage. And let's create a new bucket. I'm going to call it images and let's check on this public. Now we need to go to the policies and create a new policy here. Now I'm gonna call it users can upload an image. And let's select insert, which will allow us to do the upload operation. And let's just click review and save policy. Nice. Now let's come to the code. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep you on the same page, in the main function, I'm running my app, which brings us a blank scaffold. So you should just have a blank white app like this. Now, first thing to do is open up your terminal and we're going to add in the package. So Superbase Flutter. And we also wanna add the image picker. So once you got those two things, let's now set up in the main function. So I'm going to make it asynchronous and do the super base setup. So if you start typing super base, you can see there it is. So we can initialize it and we have to provide two things, the URL and the anon key. So if you go to your Superbase project and you scroll down, you should be able to see your project API. So make sure to copy these two things in. And save it. And at this point, it's a good idea to just kill the app and restart it because we added in some new packages. Sweet, so now that's successfully done. The first thing I want to do is create a new file called upload page. Now come back to the main function and let's return the upload page. Cool, so the first thing we need to do is the pick image method and then we need to do the upload method. So we're going to get a file and I'm just going to call it image file. And let's fill out the method. So we're going to start by getting the image picker. And we're going to pick from the gallery. And then once we have an image, let's update the image preview to display it on the screen. Cool, and just to see if this works, let's come down to the scaffold. And in the body, in a column, let's have the image preview at the top. And I feel like we could center this. And then beneath this, let's have the button to pick the image. So we can pass through our method. And if I save it, you can see there it is. Now, if you click on this, it should work on Android, but on iOS, it looks like it's crashing because we have to go to this iOS runner info.plist and you have to just write this bit of code just to get the permission so at the bottom here we're going to add this key 
NS photo library usage description. And this is for us to access the photo library. So just save that. And if you just rerun this, it should work on iOS. For Android, it's really easy because you don't need to set up anything. Cool, so let's try this again. Pick image. There it is. So I'm gonna select this first one. And you can see there's our image preview. And now I'm gonna have another button to do the upload. So let's fill out the method first. So firstly, if there isn't an image to upload, just return it. So what I'm gonna do is just call it the date time for right now. Cool, and then once we've got that, we can upload the image to Superbase Storage. So this is the Superbase part. So you can just go to the client and then go to storage from the bucket. So we call the images. And then the keyword here is upload. Cool, so we're gonna to upload to this bucket. And then once the upload is successful, what I want to do is just go to the scaffold messenger and show a snack bar at the bottom. So just to let the user know that it was successful. Sweet. So that's the method. Now coming down to our UI, let's create a button to upload. And I'm just going to refresh the app. Let's pick an image and I'm going to hit upload. And at the bottom, you can see the snack bar says image uploaded successful. And if I come back to my super base, if you go to the storage in our images bucket, there's our upload folder and there's the image that we just uploaded. Awesome. And that's it. That's the very basics of using storage in super base. If you made it this far into the tutorial, just drop a purple heart so I know. And let me know if this kind of video is helpful for you. I'm going to continue building this out. And maybe in the future we can make like a social media app or chat app bringing all this together. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.